Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of ADI Super Important Questions and in this video we have the questions from the previous year papers and these questions are the most repeated ones so don't miss any of them these are the super important ones and before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me go just like this and if you have any questions you can DM me on Instagram here without wasting more time let's get started the first question is define AVL trees explain the follow uh, explain its four rotation types okay so tree you know right tree means there will be a node which will be connected to further nodes and these are the child nodes okay so that is a tree now what is an avl tree avl tree requires the height between the left and the right sub tree are never uh, have to never increase one okay means this is the left part and this is the this is the right part okay so in this the height whatever is the height right this height difference should not be uh, more than one okay if any insertion disrupts the balance the rotation carried out to restore the height difference uh, as less than uh, one okay so whenever we insert an element if that insertion of the element causes the height to become uh, height difference to become like two or three in that case we have to restore the uh, rotate the tree so that it becomes a balanced tree okay so balanced binary search tree is equivalent to avl tree now what is the balance factor height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree that is the possible values are minus one zero and plus one okay now height is equal to number of edges between root and leaf okay the number of edges uh, which are between the root and leaf so if we consider this tree okay what is the uh, balance factor for this node for each node we will find out the balance factor okay so balance factor is equal to height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so what is the height height means from here if you go to the left where you will end in between how many edges are there if i go from here i am ending here in between how many edges are there two edges are there and if i start from here and go till here how many edges are there two edges are there so left subtree minus right subtree is height that is two minus two will be zero so the balance factor here is zero and it is uh not greater than one okay and if you find out the height of this one means the balance factor the height of the left subtree is one height of the right subtree is zero because there is no edge here so it will be one minus zero which will be equal to one okay so the balance factor of this is one like that for here there is no left tree and uh, no right tree so it will be zero minus zero which is zero only like that we'll do here also when we do for this one it will be left subtree is not there so it will be zero height will be zero and right subtree's height is one there is one edge treating to the end of the node so zero minus one we have to do the left subtree's height minus right subtree's height we will get as one like that we will keep on doing and the last one also it is zero only because there is no left and right so the balance factors we have got here zero one zero minus one and zero so this is a fine this is an avl tree why because it is not exceeding uh one okay possible values are minus one zero and one okay now in case there are some variations like if it is two if it is three height differences there we have to rotate it okay so there are four types of rotation left uh, left left rotation right 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 left and left right okay now the case one is right right rotation okay when does uh, case one happen case one happens in case of such a tree okay now here what is the balance factor left subtree's height is zero right subtree's height is two because two edges are there reaching to the end so zero minus two we have to do so it will become minus two and minus two is not a valid value right the valid values are minus the one plus one and zero right so when we do that well what we'll get zero minus two so it will be minus two okay so when it is uh, imbalance of minus two here here what we can do to make it balance is we can rotate it like this okay r r okay so here we get the name from r r r r means right edge again right edge when there is two right edges together and the balance factor is minus two which is not balanced we have to do r r operation so basically we will rotate it like this okay when we push it like this imagine this is a, a toy and you are pushing the toy from here like this so what will happen this eight will come down and nine will be in the middle right if you push it like this so now calculating the balance factor it will be left subtree height is uh, 1 and here also it is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 okay so this is not 0 minus 0 this is 1 minus 1 but anyways it is 0 only so this is a balance tree okay this is rr rotation like that if it is ll means l is here l is here that's why there is an imbalance here left subtree height is 2 right subtree height is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 this is imbalanced we will push it like this okay when you push it like this what will happen again this will be the situation here left and right uh, subtree is having same height so the balance factor is 0 and it's a valid one that is right right and uh, left left uh, left left okay now next one is the right left okay now here two rotations happen because it is right left when does right left happen if there is a right then there is a left edge and there is an imbalance here that time we have to use rl now in rl what happens observe carefully we have to come to the last node okay when we come to the last node we have to push this node in between this okay so that it becomes rr 
okay so when you push this node in between this what will happen 11 will come in between and this will become rr again it is imbalanced only then we have to apply the formula for rr which is pulling this like this okay from here like how we did previously in this case uh for rr the same thing we, we pulled it here like this here also we pull it so it will become again balanced that is rl rotation next is lr rotation in lr rotation it will be left first then right and if it is imbalanced that means we have to push 9 in between these two so that it becomes ll first we'll convert it into ll and then we'll pull it back like this so that it becomes the balance tree so these are the four operations in avl trace Okay, moving on to the next appointment question, we have defined a heap, explain its properties with its representation. Now, what is a heap? Heap is a special binary tree that satisfies two key properties. It is a complete, every level is fully filled except possibly last, which is filled from left to right. Okay, it is a complete binary tree, which is filled from the left side. Okay, if we consider any tree, if you are filling from the left side, it is a complete binary tree, right? Like this, we are filling in the order. So this is called as complete binary tree. And it follows heap ordering property. Heap ordering property means what? The parent child should be great. Parent uh, node should be greater than the child node value. Okay. That is a max heap. In min heap, it will be reverse. Child value should be greater than the parent value. So max heap, parent node is always greater than or equal to its children. Min heap, the parent node is always less than or equal to its children. So these two properties, whichever the tree fills, that is a special type of tree called as heap. Okay. Now. The first one structural property if you observe more carefully here it will be it is a complete binary tree and it is uh, the fulfillment of this tree happens in this way okay how we uh, fill the values we'll fill the values like this okay then we'll fill this this then left then left all right then again left right left right like that we'll keep on doing okay so this, this that is called as a structural property Next is the ordering property. Okay, in max heap for every node i except the root value, the value of the parent is greater than or equal to the value of i. Okay, so the parent value is greater and then the uh, normal value. Okay, children value. That is a max heap. If it is min heap, the parent value will be lesser than the child value. Okay, so that is the min heap. Two types of uh, heaps are there. Next is design horse pools algorithm for string matching. Apply horse pools algorithm to find barber in the string. Jim saw me in a barber shop. Now, if you observe, you can find barber here, but you have to apply this algorithm to find out. Okay, so steps of horse pools algorithm pre processing step build a shift table for all characters in the pattern. For character C, the shift is length of the pattern unless C pattern C appears in the pattern. You have to keep on shifting until the uh, whatever we are trying to uh, match that gets matched. If C appears at position I in the pattern of length M, shift is C is equal to M minus I minus M minus one minus I. Okay. So if the pattern starts appearing from the position I, we have to shift it in this uh, manner. My, M minus one uh, minus I. Okay. Next is searching. Align the pattern at the start of the text. Go from right to left. Use shift table to slide the pattern. How much it is to be slide is decided by the shift table in case if it is mismatched. If it is matched, then report the position and the slide. Okay. Now, this is the uh, pseudo code. Whatever I've dis just described, this is the same thing here the pre processing step and the searching step. Now, if you see the text here, Jim saw me in a barber shop. How do we solve this using? Uh, horse pulse algorithm so first arrange the letters from left to right here from the starting okay then compare is all these letters same or not these letters are not same whenever the letters are not same what you have to do is <coughs> you have to take the last letter okay last letter you have to take and see which is matching the previous letter here which is matching the previous letter a is matching here so when i place a with respect to this in the same place so b will be here a will be here r b e r again the same thing we will do it is not matching b and s it's not matching so it's not the correct one so again we will see e is present where e is present here so we'll shift this one place so that e comes here okay so again barber is there now we'll compare this and this this is this and this are same no it's not same and this is present anywhere in the text it's not present so whenever this is not present anywhere in the text that means this cannot be included in the text we are trying to find out so we have to start searching after this point okay because before this point we have already clarified it does not exist and after this point we have to start searching now from here you will compare okay i i uh, uh you will be starting and writing the barber here when we write the barber here uh, B is uh, coinciding with R. Now we have to first see where is B coinciding previous to R. Okay, here it is. No, is it here? Yes, it is here. Means this I have to shift two places so that this B comes aligned with this B. Okay. Next, what you have to do? Again, you have to check. Uh, again, you have to check from the last. R is here. Yes, R is here. It's fine. A is here. E is here. E should not be here. Where A is there in the previous case? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. So align this part with this part here. When we align these two parts, the A will be aligned.
a will be aligned with this and then the if you check back b is also here it's aligned with this and if you keep on checking r is there b is there e is there and r is there that means the pattern has been found in the given text okay this is the thing you need to write in the exam along with the algorithm next is construct a bottom up heap for the list 297658 obtain its time complexity so bottom up heap how we will uh, write first thing is arrange it in the complete binary tree order format okay so first two is here okay so two will be arranged here and the left node will be given as nine and the right node will be seven after that there is six five eight so again starting from here the left part will be six uh, right uh, child of the nine will be five and then come to the seventh node and inside that the left part will be eight okay so the list which they had given is completed after this keep on checking from the right side the last node here is 8 and 7 according to the rule 8 and 7 is not according to the rule because we need to have max heap okay bottom up heap approach will be using the max heap okay so in the exam also when they give you have to use the max heap max heap means the parent should be greater than child i repeat the parent should be greater than child okay so parent node here is 7 and the child node is 8 so if it's not greater than the child node no it's not when it's not you have to exchange okay when the exchange happens here it will be 7 and here it here here it will be 8 and here it will be 7 that's the exchange and once it is in the order parent is greater than the child move on to the next node check 5 and 9 is 5 and 9 uh, in the correct order is 6 and 9 in the correct order parent is greater than the child yes so when it is yes we don't do anything okay we keep it as same only so after doing that we'll be checking this one 8 and 2 and we'll also check 9 and 2 now is this in the correct format is 2 greater than 9 and 8 no it's not which is greater 9 is greater 8 is greater or 2 is greater 9 is greater right so 9 should be here right if 8 comes here again 8 and 9 there will be a conflict so we'll choose the greatest one which is 9 here we'll put 9 here and exchange 2 here when we put 9 here and exchange 2 here another we have to make a check here why because new node has come here and is this new node greater than the child nodes or not that check we have to do okay so this node is greater than 6 and 5 no it's not so which is the greatest one among these three the greatest one is 6 we'll put, put 6 here and exchange 2 here so 6 is here and 2 will be here now it is in the perfect uh, bottom up heap uh, bottom up heap okay and here all the parent is greater than the child nodes and it is in the form of complete binary tree as well so this is the final answer you need to write in the exam following these steps okay obtain uh, to obtain the time complexity there are two steps start from the last non-leaf node at the index l uh, i mean n by 2 okay the range between uh, n by 2 this the denotes the uh, this denotes the range okay move up to the root for each node perform a shift down or pre, uh, percolate down okay what it means is first we are starting from the bottom here and we are moving in this direction as well as after this is done we are moving this and this okay so the height here it will be n log n okay how many nodes are there based on that if we calculate n log n that will be the height of this okay so that's what we will be taking into consideration here it will be log n okay sorry not n log n it will be log n okay it can take up to log n times if it is the maximum height okay and uh, we'll be taking the worker work at each node as o of h okay if it is of the height h we will take uh, o of h because if there is uh, the height h that many levels you have to go okay so o of h will be the work at each node so total work will be the summation of n by 2 h uh, 2 power h plus 1 into o of h and this is a calculated value okay this we have to keep it like this and it goes from h is equal to 0 till the height which is log n okay so when we calculate this one the time complexity evaluates to o of n so the bottom up heap approach is of uh, time complexity o of n okay that's all for this video if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it helps me make more like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one